Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three Hail Mary uh, items. This is the chocolate almond butter cups. This is the lemon, Meyer lemon cup, and then the dark espresso, or dark chocolate espresso cup. A while back, Joshua asked me, I don't even know if Joshua watches my channel anymore, uh, but Joshua had asked me, would I try the Hail Mary products? I'd never heard of them, never seen them. Uh, these, uh, we finally found them at Meyer. They were $1.99 each, but they were in the, refriger the refrigerated section. And they weren't in a refrigerated section that where you would normally find chocolate. It was just kind of odd for us. Now we know, and we can look there from now on, but uh, that's where we found these. So I've never seen them at Kroger or Walmart, just Meyer. So, um, and they might have them at other like specialty stores, I don't know. Um, these are gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO. It says freedom to indulge. Uh, chocolate almond butter. Say yes to mind-blowing indulgence anytime, anywhere. Our luscious cups are made fresh with virgin coconut oil and good fats from nuts. Creamy almond butter and rich dark chocolate ganache melt together in a sweet and salty in sweet and salty perfection. It says to keep them refrigerated. So when we brought them home, we put them in the refrigerator. Uh, see, uh, one package is 240 calories, and these are made in Dallas, Texas. So maybe that's why they're not common around here. Because they're made. Oh, they're smaller than I thought. Okay, so they come. I thought from the package that it, it, it would be like a Reese's cup, but they're smaller than that. They're in a plastic container. More like a, looks like a chocolate candy. And like a, I'm gonna try to pop it up. Oh, there we go. It came out really easy. It feels pretty soft in the middle. And that's being refrigerated. Yeah, that's being refrigerated. Yeah, you see the inside of the package? So it's very soft. But it oh, is it, like. it is chocolate um, ganache. It says chocolate ganache. That's why it's um, soft. Move your paper. Mm. I like that boy. The that dark chocolate. Dark chocolate though. Mm -hmm. I love the flavor of the almond butter. Mm -hmm. For me, it is dark chocolate. It's very dark. But that almond butter stands out. It you, is really good. You would think that the dark chocolate would overpower it, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. It's extremely thick. I can understand why it's uh, 240 calories. And it's deceiving because to your eye, this looks very small, mm -hmm. but just that, Kevin cut that into a fourth. A fourth. And just that small bite is a lot. It's very it's, rich. It's a lot. Now, if you don't like dark chocolate, you won't like, you probably won't like these. Because they do have that little bit of a bitter flavor to them. This one's Meyer Lemon, though. It says, um, uh, the tart zing of creamy Meyer Lemon ganache and an almond cookie crust will, ma will make your mouth say pucker up. So this one's only 210 calories. Once again, comes in a plastic container and I'm just gonna pop it out. But I'm looking- There's gonna be a little pie. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this since it says uh, almond cookie crust too. And I like lemon, so. This one really doesn't look like much, but I'll show you. Does that look like a graham cracker crust? Mm-hmm. No, I'm not lemon. It is fairly tart, though. The crust uh, stays in your mouth like a, when you eat a graham cracker crust mm -hmm. and you get the little pieces of the graham cracker. Um, that's kind of the texture. You that's get. the texture, yeah. yeah that's it doesn't the, have that flavor though. No, not at all, but the t that's the texture. That lemon is, uh, it's not bad. It's its not near as strong as the first one we tried of No, 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 the flavors um, aren't nearly there. But it's good. It's, it's still it's, good. It definitely yeah. has a tartness to a it. A lemon, yeah. 
Okay. That's good. This is dark chocolate espresso, and this is only 190. So this is the fewest calorie that we've had. Rich dark chocolate espresso ganache cradled in a chocolate almond cookie crust. I have to say, they come out of there really easy. That's nice. This so, one not necessarily gonna hold up, but it's just, it's solid chocolate through the whole thing. So you'll see a picture of it at the end. I'm sorry. Well, it's strong coffee. I mean, that's a bitter, bitter coffee. It is. Ooh, it's a little too strong. Some of you out there like coffee. Like love it. You would need to <laughs> like black coffee. Yeah, like really black, strong coffee. No sugar. Yeah. No sugar, no cream, no milk. Black. I, my mom had a friend who liked black coffee, and I mean, she she would like leave the pot on all day. That kind of black coffee, and just chain smoke. <laughs> she coffee? was as skinny as she could be, but that's all she. That was her diet. Well, you have to you have to use a, you have to really like a very dark roast coffee and drink it black to yes. like it because that's very very strong. And you will see in the pictures, <laughs> it's so Pitch dark. Black. So, what was your favorite? The lemon one. Really? My favorite was the almond butter. I like the almond butter, except it had that, it had a bitterness to it too, that dark chocolate. It did, but, but that almond butter was, uh... I did like the almond butter. Powerful enough and strong enough to where I really liked the flavor of that almond butter. The lemon was good though, like but, but yeah, the, the coffee, I would not buy that one again. No, not much you like coffee. Yes, just too, too dark for so us. So these are good. I like mm -hmm. these. All of them are good. I don't know if it'd be my go-to candy by any means, but but if you like a, a little different treat here and there, I think it would be good. Right, and if you're conscious about um, gluten-free, vegan, kosher, non-GMO, uh, if you're uh, conscious about stuff like that, then this would be something that you would appreciate. Mm -hmm. You're going to appreciate this over... A Reese's cup, right. you know, so I get it. Uh, these were $1.99 though, so just know that. Uh, so I, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.